What can fitness fanatics expect if they want to get their pump on indoors? Well, let's check in with a gym operator just down the road from us, Morgan Thomas at Sweat and Tonic. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. So what is it like knowing that you're going to be able to not be outside? You're going to get to welcome back in guests and members back indoors. How are you feeling today? You're pumped? It's amazing. We're really, really excited. Yes. Uh, I'm out here right now at Sweat on the Roof, our outdoor fitness facility on the rooftop of the Eaton Center. Uh, but our indoor studio is opening today as well, and we could not be more excited to finally be able to invite everyone back in studio. So have you had a lot of pent up demand? Has there been a lot of you know previous members that have been like clamoring to get in or new members just banging on your door going, let me in, let me in? Yes, we've had a lot of people saying they've just really missed so many aspects of the gym, both, you know, obviously the workout and the fitness and the physical and mental health aspects, uh, but also just the community, right? Uh, everyone's been sort of pent up at home on their own, and the gym was such a great way for them to get out and see people uh, pre-pandemic and uh, just, just stay healthy all around. So we're looking at some B-roll now, some pictures that I guess were from pre-pandemic. What's it going to look like now when we walk into your gym? Is everybody going to be masked? Are people going to have to sanitize continuously? What's going to happen there? Exactly, yes. So we have taken lots and lots of measures to make sure that we are providing the safest uh, indoor fitness experience. So masks are required at all times, except when you are in class. Uh, so as you walk into the class, everyone will keep their mask on, go to their pre-assigned spot, which is socially distanced and also divided by plexiglass dividers. And then the instructor will let the entire class know when it's safe to remove their masks. Uh, we've also taken lots of other precautions like uh, temperature scanning, uh, hand sanitizer throughout the facility and upgraded our entire uh, HVAC system to be hospital grade air filtration. So a lot of people are saying now, there's been some calls at least, that when it gets to gyms and other facilities like gyms, that there might be a demand for a vaccine sort of passport. Are you going to be asking people if they've been vaccinated? Are you going to be asking for proof of vaccination? We are not asking for proof of vaccination. However, we are doing uh, rapid testing on our entire team. So uh, we've been really fortunate to be able to participate in a small business program uh, that provides uh, free rapid test kits to small businesses. And so our entire staff, everyone from our front desk team uh, to our full-time cleaning staff who disinfects everything in between every single class uh, to our instructors, there will be uh, tested each week to make sure that whether they're fully vaccinated, uh, they are still just uh, COVID free. Looks like you've got a good crowd behind you and I wish you the best of success as you reopen. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we're going to head over to Sid and Dina. Good morning.